Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Honourable Chairs, respected delegates and esteemed guests. My name is Abigail Bilson and it is my honour to serve as the Secretary General for the 14th Annual Model United Nations Conference here at Overseas Family School Singapore. Hi, my name is Mahek Swani and I will be serving as the Deputy Secretary General for this year's Mahap Sandy Cycle. Good afternoon, my name is Mihika Mishra and I will be serving as this year's Deputy Secretary General for Manaf's XIV. At Manaf's, we believe that it's important to take action further than your classroom with stimulated debate and in local communities, getting involved in global issues. Over the past 14 years, Manos has continually developed and grown into the conference it is today. This is all attributable to the hard work, dedication and perseverance of everyone who has contributed to this conference since its inception. Specifically, I would like to offer both my commendations and thanks to our executive team and director, who have all sacrificed hours of their time as well as a little bit of their sanity for this conference to go ahead. Today, we see how Manos continues to grow from strength to strength with our adaptation to the COVID-19 pandemic. For this conference, we are excited to announce the integration of our Manos system, providing delegates and chairs with the means to interact like never before. In addition to this, Manos continues to strive to improve the experience of all delegates at our conference, from our newest beginners to our most seasoned participants. At this conference, we will not only be offering engaging topics at our beginner levels and specialised committees at our advanced levels, but we are excited to announce the introduction of four brand new committees. Introducing Arab League, the Group of 20, the Special Conference on Press Freedom, and the International Olympic Committee allows delegates the opportunity to debate pressing in issues never before seen in the Singapore and UN circuit. As we all know, MUN is about more than just debate. In an increasingly globalised world, it is important now more than ever for everyone around the world, nations, leaders and people, to be able to come together to find solutions on global issues. MUN exposes our generation to a deeper understanding of these issues, as well as providing participants with the opportunity to develop critical skills needed for our generation to step forward and take our positions as the leaders of tomorrow. No one understands the impact of MUN better than I do. Going into my first conference, I was young and struggling with the fear of public speaking, but I found myself captivated by the significance of the issues that were being discussed. For the first two days, I watched in awe as older and more experienced delegates debated on issues I didn't really understand. By the third day, after persistent encouragement from both my chairs and some fellow delegates, I gathered all my courage and made one short speech after which I took no POIs. Although I was definitely not the best delegate in my committee that weekend, with that one speech, I began a journey that changed my life. MUN has not only increased my awareness of global issues, but has also caused me to develop crucial, crucial skills and given me the opportunity to form new bonds that will last a lifetime. So, to all new delegates attending one-offs, I want to give you a piece of advice. Take a risk this weekend. Seize an opportunity and make the most of it. Make a speech, ask a POI, submit an amendment. No matter how scary it seems, I can promise you that it is worth it. And to our seasoned delegates and chairs, keep going. I truly hope this conference is as valuable to you as it is to me. On that note, I wish you all the best of luck in your MUN journeys and hope you have a truly valuable hero experience here at Manos XIV. It is now my honour to introduce Ms. Baikong Nam, who has 14 years of experience in humanitarian communications with respected local and international non-governmental organisations. She has spent over nine years with MSF in Hong Kong in various capacities and now serves as the Director of Communications. She has worked in crisis in South Sudan, Philippines, Myanmar during natural disaster emergencies. She has also has experience in crisis management, having been part of various crisis management teams in MSF. Hi, uh, this is Baikong Mamin, Director of Communications for Doctors Without Borders. I am based in Hong Kong and overseeing humanitarian communications across the region. Doctors Without Borders is an international medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency and life-saving care in more than 70 countries. Our provision of care is based on needs alone in adherence to universal medical ethics and impartiality. Um, we've heard about what's happening in Afghanistan and um, MSF is there. Um, we've seen that the fightings have almost uh, ceased. 
Um, and our teams are also seeing more patients taking care in the hospitals where we are working. We are currently in five provinces um, in the country. Uh, and we're also witnessing that health structures are under great pressure, uh, still with staff and equipment shortages. Some of them are also closed and uh, or poorly functioning. Uh, we've known this for years that Afghanistan has been understaffed, under-equipped and underfunded. So a disruption in international support can make the fragile healthcare system collapse rapidly. And um, I think as many of you are quite interested about um, our involvement in the refugees and internally displaced uh, populations um, uh, issues. I wanted to express that a large part of the work that we do are geared towards uh, IDPs and refugees. This is this is rooted from our early experiences in the 1970s onwards. So it's not a surprise that we are mostly visible on the side of people who are forced to flee their home and took the dangerous journey to find a safe place to live a better tomorrow. But our medical programs continue to run um, because we knew that the the communities and population who were already vulnerable before COVID-19 will be even more vulnerable um, during COVID. And we you are know, so grateful and appreciate um, our field teams and our teams across the world um, to ensuring that, that our response and our medical programs uh, continue and that we're able to also step in as well in, in some places where our experience and knowledge in um, containing an outbreak um, could be of help. While it seems to be that the world has had stopped um, last year because of, of COVID-19 and this, this time we were able to adjust a little bit, um, but pandemic doesn't stop natural disaster, pandemic doesn't stop humanitarian crisis, pandemic doesn't stop con conflict. On that note, I would like to declare the 14th Annual Model United Nations Conference at Overseas Family School officially open.